As you pass from Abiquiu up to Taos, a lot of the early travelers would take the high road because this high road was through a beautiful range of mountains and ancient communities. First the Native Americans and then the Spanish would build their communities there. In fact, the community of Truchas was one of the earlier Spanish settlements in New Mexico and the church of the Holy Rosary behind me here was built in 1764. And the church here in Truchas has either evidence of a good deal of fortification to protect against attack or just fortification to keep the walls from falling in. And it really is kind of in the back area. If you want to see a genuine Spanish mission, I suggest coming to either this or a one a little bit further north on the high road to Taos. But this is one that's not packed around the clock with tourists. Now, what is significant about Truchas in my history documentary about the Taos Revolt in Los Hermanos Penitentes is that this town was very popular and to this day apparently is very popular with the Penitent Brothers. And as you drive in to see this church, which is now kind of in a back area from the main road, you see a stone which I'll explain a little bit further north, but you see a stone marker on top of the signpost. And if you want to know more about symbolism, teal is also an incredibly important spiritual color for the Navajo and the tribes around here. They use turquoise to represent it, but here's a stone, which I believe ties into the theory that the penitentes are so secretive because they've been around in one form or another since the 1600s and the Inquisition when they had to hide their Jewish Portuguese ties away from the Spanish who would have burned them probably for this or sentenced them to slavery. And these are posted throughout different churches. I'm really excited to explain why this is here. But as you go up a little bit further north into Truchas, this is not advertised, but they do have an old morada. And apparently this morada is owned by uh, or overseen by a owner of the Montez Art Gallery. I haven't been able to contact them and I believe that he probably isn't running this art gallery anymore. But I'm gonna throw in a couple of shots of the old Morada. The Morada being a place where the, uh, the penitent brothers would meet to hold their, their ceremonies and their services. Here again at the cemetery in Truchas, you can see that a lot of these people kind of cycled freely between small settlements in Colorado and northern New Mexico. Here you have, I mean, he died in 1930, but very likely his family was living in Colorado because you have a large Hispanic influence as well in those areas. So this is kind of a unique community that forms along the Colorado-New Mexico border.